uh, radiology is uh, continuously evolving. Uh, the demand is definitely going to increase. Even as of today, there's a shortage of radiologists. So hi guys and today we have a very very special guest Dr. Divya Singh, a consultant radiologist at Prime Imaging and Prenatal Diagnostics. Thank you for joining. Thank you Shivam. It's a pleasure to be here. And today with you we will talk about the scope of radiology. So let's begin. Firstly, like what are the degrees which can be pursued in India or abroad post radiology? Uh, I would uh, speak about certain degrees which can be pursued in India and then I would be mentioning about the same abroad. So once you've done your post-graduation in radiology in India, maybe it's if it's an MD or a DNB or a DMRD, after that you can super specialize because today radiology is not an end specialty. It's also diversified and there are various branches in radiology. So we have kind of super specialized in a way that you can, you know, maybe uh, pursue a career in head and neck radiology or maybe chest radiology, which is booming these days because of the co ongoing COVID pandemic, or maybe something to do with the abdomen or the musculoskeletal system. So depending on what excites you or what interests you, you can pursue a higher education in the form of a DM, which is a three-year course. Or you can do a fellowship, which ranges from anywhere between one to three years. Same thing can be done abroad. If you plan to study abroad, say in the US or the UK, there are certain certification exams which you need to pass. And especially in the US, you also need to do residency in radiology before you can actually start practicing there. For UK, you have to qualify what is known as a fellowship in the Royal College of Radiology. So the FRCR exam, which has again multiple parts. And uh, once you are done with that, then you are clear to practice uh, in the UK. If you want to work beyond radiology, I mean, if you want to work beyond general radiology and want to super specialize, then you also again have options of fellowships abroad. Okay. So like what are the top colleges like across India and also across the world, according to your opinion for pursuing radiology, like as in, in for specialization, also for like degrees further? Yes. See, I Always the top colleges would remain uh, the apex institutions like All India Institute of Medical Sciences in Delhi. And uh, in the north, we would have uh, PGI Chandigarh. Then there is PGI Rohtak as well. If you go down south, we have uh, Jipmer Pondicherry. We have CMC Vellore. Then if you go westwards, uh, you would have good colleges in um, Mumbai, like the King Edward Memorial College. That is a very good, again, college for pursuing uh, radiology. Okay. And when we talk about abroad? If we talk about abroad, then of course, it, it would be again, same institutions which you hear in other branches of medicine, something like Rochester in New York. You would have Mayo Clinics. Based on similar lines, you would have these uh, schools. Maybe you could, in Boston, if you go for, you would have Mass General Hospital. You have uh, Brigham's uh, Women and Child Hospital. So similar lines as you have in other branches of medicine okay and uh, like in terms of the job profile what is the scope of radiology in india see the job the scope is immense today uh, you have jobs both in the public sector that is in uh, government run institutions as well as in the private sector if you opt for the public sector you can work in any given place where a government based institution is it could involve serving in the far flung areas of the country serving the underserved people in the country or it could involve working in research institutes like AIMS and PGI. You could also work in teaching institutions like government medical colleges. That would be the public sector aspect of uh, radiology. If you want to work in the private sector, then there are of course big corporate hospitals, there are smaller clinics, diagnostic centers and you can even be self-employed by having your own clinic. Also, uh, again in COVID era, Teleradiology has uh, come up in a big way. So you can even work from the comforts of your home. You know, you can report from the comforts of your home. So the scope of radiology today is quite diverse and vast. Okay. So would you like to add any extra draw, job profile when we talk about the opportunities abroad? See, again, abroad, you would have a similar kind of a thing. You, could, you can again work in their government institutions like the National Health Services in the UK the NHS, and you can work in a lot of research institutions, depending on how well you do while you're 
doing a, your residency there so you have a similar kind of a job profile you can work in both the public and the private sector abroad okay and moving on like uh, what do you have to say about the approximate range of sal- salary for the job profiles you mentioned like in india well in india uh, obviously your job the salary that you draw at a particular uh, level would depend on your experience uh, it would depend at the place where you're working and it would also depend on how many hours that you log in at work right so the salary in india could vary anywhere between depending on these factors range from 1.5 to 4 lakhs per month okay and when we talk about abroad in specific countries like uk us Yes, if you speak about abroad, then again, these factors would definitely p- play a role as to where you're based and how long you work and uh, what is your experience, whether you are super specialized or not. But then you could draw a much higher salary, which could again vary from being double to around even six times what you draw in this country. Okay, that's great to hear. And in your opinion, in your perspective, what would be the future demand in this field? how would it be like would it increase further and uh, why do you think so yes of course uh, radiology is uh, continuously evolving uh, the demand is definitely going to increase even as of today there's a shortage of radiologists so if you would kind of do an audit of various institutions even in the government sector there is a dearth of radiologists so obviously the demand is going to increase and it's not going to change and uh, you're not going to have a lull period if i may say so and uh, now di- uh, radiology is not just uh, confined to diagnosing things we are not just the link between the physician and the patient to just give a diagnosis and just move away radiology has moved beyond diagnosis and now we also play a very important role in interventions that is actually treating the patient so there are interventions which can help in diagnosing things like for example diagnosing cancer so you do ultrasound or ct guided biopsies and you take stuff from patients sample it and kind of give them a diagnosis and there is of course the interventional part radiologists today even do angiography it's not the cardiac angiography you have angiography of the brain you have angiography in the abdomen there are, there's a whole lot of uh, interventional arena which is out there and uh, of course every year something new is coming up in this field so it holds a lot of promise in the future okay and last one question would be that what would be your advice one piece of advice which you would like to give to your juniors who who are thinking of pursuing radiology as in for the specialization well uh, the my piece of advice would be that uh, first uh, you have to be passionate about the subject right if you're passionate about the subject then pick up radiology because it demands a lot of hard work and uh, uh, you have to be a voracious reader it involves a lot of reading and keeping yourself up to date as i said it not only means updating your knowledge every year but it also means updating your equipment because remember we work with a lot of equipments and gadgets so um, you need to have an eye for detail it is something uh, which needs you to be very observant and it's also a good idea if you have good verbal and communication skills because that takes you very far in radiology because at the end of the day your report is you know a representation of you so it's good to have very good verbal and written communication skills when you take up radiology okay so that was a wonderful conversation with dr devya and i hope my audience loved it they got an idea about the scope of radiology so thank you dr devya it's a pleasure to speaking to you shivam thank you